All right, we've had some questions about how I can use an iPhone or an Android to work out problems that include exponents that are like larger than two. So if I'm looking at this interest problem and it says I'm gonna invest $3,000 at 4.5% interest rate for seven years and it's compounded annually. Well, the first thing I always tell my kids is I've gotta write down my formula. And it's A equals principal one plus my rate to the exponent of T. Okay, figure out where things go. My principal is 3,000. One plus my rate is, now remember, you've got to move that over, 0 0.045, and then it's for seven years. So unlike a graphing calculator, your calculator on your phone will not use order of operations the way they should. And I'm not even sure why they have parentheses because they don't really do what they're supposed to do anyway. So I have to think about PEMDAS. In PEMDAS, and I'm looking at this, parentheses comes first, so I'm going to be adding this. Well, I don't really need to add that in my phone. I can just simply add it with my brain, and then I can bring down everything that I haven't used. So I've used P for PEMDAS, which was parentheses, and now exponents is next. So I'm going to take this number, 1.045, and I'm multiplying it by a power of 7. This is where you're using your X to the Y button, which is right there. You press that, and notice you have like a little box that kind of goes around it to show that it's been selected. It might be difficult to see. But it's already been selected, and I now just choose the number 7 because I've raised it to that power of 7. That's my answer for this multiplication right here. I'm not going to write that down. That's silly. I'm going to use it, but I have already used that. My last step is then to just multiply by that principle. So times and notice again you can kind of see that it selects it by making a box around it and you're doing 3000 enter this is four thousand eighty two dollars and because i'm rounding that five tells me to change it to 59 cents and you would put a dollar sign this is my grand total that's interest and principal included okay hopefully that's helpful